we will learn about working with queries forms and reports the database of any organization may contain huge amount of data moreover it may consists of multiple tables when the number of records in a table increases it becomes an uphill task for any user to extract specific records from that table microsoft access provides us a solution from this problem through queries a query is a database object that allows you to retrieve information from one or more database tables that meet a specific condition or criteria specified by you the information retrieved on the basis of a specified criteria in the query is stored in a separate table called the query table okay first let us understand what is a query A query is a simple question that you ask to find a specific information from the database. Similarly in Access when you build a query you are defining specific search conditions. You can use queries to view, change, summarize and analyze the specific data in different ways. In our daily life you make several types of queries to get specific information. For example which students are scoring above 85% marks? Which students live in sector 4 Chandigarh and so on you can make quick decisions depending on that criteria let us understand the concept of queries with the help of the given example example in the students table you have records of class 8 as well as class 9 students suppose we want to extract the records of students of class 8 and class 9 who reside in Panchkula and Chandigarh We can find this with the help of queries. Queries are made on tables and the results are displayed in the form of a table that is in a group of rows and columns with a set of records that match the given condition. Microsoft Access provides various types of queries select, parameter, cross tab, action and structured query language SQL query. Okay, let's know more. A select query retrieves data from one or more tables and displays the records set in a data sheet. You can also use a select query to group the data and to calculate the sum, count the average and other types of total. A parameter query is a type of select query that prompts you for input before it runs. The query then uses your input as criteria that controls the results. For example, you can design it to prompt for two dates. Access will then retrieve all data with values between the two specified dates. Okay, let us now find out how to set a relationship between tables. Relationships are links that associate a field in one table with the same field in another table. In Access, you can store data in multiple tables. To bring that information together, you need to define relationships between the table. Once you have defined relationship between the tables, data from both the tables can be used by query, form or report. A relationship works by matching a field with the same name in both the tables. In most cases, these matching fields are the primary key from one table that uniquely identifies each record in a table and a foreign key in the other table. A foreign key is a value in one table that must match with the primary key of another table. To create a relationship, make two tables, one with the name students that holds information about students such as their roll number, full name, class, address and city. And the other with the name marks that holds the information about the students roll number, percentage and grade. Open one of them in the data sheet view. Click on the data sheet tool tab. Select the relationships button from the relationships group. The show table dialog box appears. Select the required table and click on the add button. The selected table will appear in the object relationships window. Likewise, add another table to the relationships window. You can activate the queries tab if your relationships are based on queries or activate both tab if relationships are based on both tables and queries. Click on the close button to close the show table dialog box. Drag the primary key of the parent table example students table and drop it over the same field in the child's table example marks table. 
In our example, roll number is the primary key. The edit relationships dialog box appears. Click on the create button. Access creates the relationships between the tables. A line linking the two tables will appear indicating that both have been linked on the basis of the link field. Click on the save button on the quick access toolbar to save the relationship and then close the relationships window by clicking on the close button on the relationships group. Let me give you a tip. After the relationship has been created between two tables, you must delete the relationship before you make modifications to the fields on which relationship is based. To delete a relationship, click on the line that connects the tables and press the delete key. Ok students, let's know more. To reopen the show table dialog box while creating relationship, click on the show table button on the design tab in the relationships group. Ok, let us learn how to create a query. Access provides two ways to create a query. Query wizard, query design. Ok, let us know something more. An action query creates a new table or alters your data or database by adding, deleting, updating and appending data to it. A cross tab query uses row headings and column headings so that you can see your data in the terms of two categories at once. Creating a query in design view. The design view gives you more control over a query. It allows you to create a query from the scratch. Open the database and click on the create tab on the ribbon. Now click on the query design button in the queries group. The show table dialog box is displayed from which you can select the record source for your query which can be one or more tables of queries or a combination of the two. Select the table from the show table dialog box on which you would like to run a query. Click on the add button and then click on the close button. The selected table will appear as a small window in the upper section of the query window, that is the object relationship pane. The selected query table displays a list of fields. Double click on the field names you would like to add in the query. They will be added to the design grid, the bottom section of the query window. You can also add fields to the query by dragging them from the field list to the design grid. The design grid is similar to a spreadsheet with columns representing each field in the query. Ok students, know the fact. To add all the fields present in a field list to the design grid, double click on the top bar of the table's field list and drag it to the design grid. Let us understand the design grid. Field. The first row of the design grid displays the selected field names from the table. Table. Beneath each field name is the name of the existing table. Show. The show row displays a check mark. The fields with check marks display the information when the query is run. To hide the fields during runtime, deselect the check mark by clicking on it. Sort. This property is used to filter the data either in an ascending or descending order. It is optional. Criteria. It contains the condition on the basis of which the records will be filtered in the query output. Or, this property is used to set multiple criteria in a query. Ok students, let us find out how to specify simple criteria. You specify criteria in the criteria row of the design grid. Specify the criteria value in the criteria row and the data will be filtered accordingly in the query output. Let us understand it with the help of the given example. To view the roll numbers and names of the students of class 8, double click on the required fields in the table. Move the cursor to the criteria row and type the criteria 8 in the class field column. Click on the sort property in the full name column and set it in the ascending order. Click on the close button of the query window to save the query.
A dialog box will appear asking you to save changes to the design of query 1. Click on the yes button to save the changes. The save as dialog box will appear. Specify the query name and click okay. The query name will appear in the navigation pane. Make sure you have selected the all access objects option from the drop down menu in the navigation pane. Double click on the query name to view the query output. The query result will be displayed in the data sheet view which looks like a table. Let me give you a tip. To view the query output without saving, click on the run button in the results group on the design tab. Okay students, know the fact. All the tables you select to include in your query will appear as small windows in the object relationship pane. Each window contains a list of the available fields within those tables. Okay, now let us find out how to specify multiple criteria. To see information when either two or more alternate criteria are satisfied, you can make use of or criteria row in the design grid of the query. Suppose from a wide range of record, you want to see the records of class 8th and class 9th only. Move the cursor to the criteria row and type the condition equal to 8 in class field. Type the second condition equal to 9 in the or row of the same column. Now run the query by clicking on the run button on the design tab. The query result will be displayed in the data sheet view. If you want to save your query, click on the save command in the quick access toolbar. When prompted to name it, type the desired name and then click okay. Now let us learn how to create a query in query wizard. To create a query in query wizard, click on the create tab. Select the query wizard button in the queries group. The new query dialog box appears. The simple query wizard option is selected by default. Click okay. The simple query wizard screen appears as shown in the figure. Select the table that contains the data in the tables or queries list box. Now add the fields that you want to have in the query result. To add a field, select the required fields in the available fields box. Click on the single forward arrow button or just double click on the field. You will notice that the selected field is shifted to the selected fields box. In case you want to add all the fields, then click on the double forward arrow button. It will shift all the fields at once. You can remove the selected fields from the selected fields box. To remove them one by one, click on the single backward arrow button or to remove all at once, click on the double backward arrow button. Once you have selected the required fields, then click on the next button. The simple query wizard screen 2 of 3 appears prompting you to either select the details or summary query. Simply click on the next button. In the next step simple query wizard screen 3 of 3 appears. Enter a new title for your query. Observe that the open the query to view information radio button is selected by default. Now click on the finish button. The query result will appear in the data sheet view. You will observe that the query name is visible in the navigation pane. Okay students, let's take a quick quiz. To zoom in in the current field in the data sheet view, press Shift plus F2.